How's it going guys? This is Coach Brad bringing you a sandbag upper body exercise. Now I'm going to explain why we're going to use a sandbag to do a push-up over the back. For one, it's more challenging. If you were to simply lift the bag, chances are it's still going to be lighter than if you were doing a bench press or even your own body weight. In other words, if I lay it on my back and press the bag up over my body, that's one variation. We're going to do the push-up, which is slightly harder. The reason I like doing it over the sandbag is because it limits our range of motion somewhat, which keeps our shoulder in a more stable position. During a normal push-up, as my elbow gets further and further, okay, here it's equivalent with my shoulder position, but I'm also touching the bag. If I didn't use the bag and I do a normal push-up, sure, I can get my chest down to the floor, but I run a higher risk of shoulder injury over a long period of time. Right now, I'm looking to play the long game and play it safe. I'm trying to keep my elbow equivalent to my shoulder, not behind my shoulder or past my shoulder. So all we're simply going to do is use this as a depth limiter for our push-up. Give a nice plank. Turn the elbows in, contract your lats, uh, down, touch the back. Down, touch the back. That's how we would use a sandbag to perform a push-up at a safer range of motion for your shoulder. Goodbye.